lot of corpses. Corpses? Small fly corpses. I don't think I'll be able to distinguish between beans and beetroots. Are you a happy man, Michael? Uh, not with the painting. <laughs> so less chatting and more painting, I think. Go away then. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that. No, you help. OK, that's got everybody going. Um, what I thought I'd do was just a really quick thing about um, how I would go about starting the kind of thing that they're painting in the garden. And I thought I'd just kind of show how I would simplify going about the early stages of making a painting. Uh, what I'm going to be working on is this, this little canvas here. As you can see, I've used it loads of times before. It's a demonstration canvas. I often use old canvases that I've used before for demonstrations. I really recommend that you do cover your canvas. It's, it's really hard if you're working on, if you're working on just a big white sheet like this, I mean, it, it can be a little bit daunting just to cover the, cover the white straight away. And if you can, if you buy a few of these at the same time, they're really cheap. Uh, it's just canvas board. I would recommend that you cover them in color of some kind. Um, I often mix uh, cobalt blue and alizarin crimson. Use a cool colour because it pushes things away. You can always pull things forward with warm colours later when you're working on it. So this is the photograph I'm going to be working from. There's uh, loads of visitors in the garden at the moment, so I don't want to be talking to the cameras and making a painting and having people brushing past all the time. So anyway, there we are. OK, so I wouldn't normally draw uh, with charcoal on here because I, I just don't need to. But just for your sake, I'm just going to kind of decide where I want the, the skyline to be there's a bit of a wall in here you've got to be really careful with things like walls it can dominate the whole thing so i don't want that to happen and I, and I don't want a horizontal line going across here so i'm just going to suggest that the walls the walls in there and then let's get the perspective of the face towards kind of doing this um actually it's kind of swoop up like that because there's a bit of a there's a slope to this garden and there's a big post in here which I may or may not put in uh, it could be it could be too dominating okay the first thing I want to do is just kind of establish a little bit where the, where the sky is going to be something like that I and mean, it's only a you know like a suggestion of the whole thing it doesn't, it doesn't I don't what you don't want to be doing right at the beginning is committing to something that you know is uh, so it's written stone that, that that's why i wouldn't normally bother drawing i just this is all i do really is suggest where the where the sky is and what's happening and we're going to come into that tree a little bit and up here so that's that's basically got that the soil appears to be quite dark but actually the light is coming down from the sky and hitting it full on so if you look into where the deep shadows are, you'll see that actually the, the ground is not as dark as it may first appear. So I'm going to pop that in a little bit. See how light that is. Um, I've, got, I've used um, a little bit of burnt umber. And actually, quite a lot of And quite a lot of cobalt blue in there as well. I know it sounds odd that it might might be blue in the earth, but um, but it really is. There's quite a lot of blue in that. This is this is this bit down here is quite a lot in shadow, quite a lot. I'm just going to thin that with some turps and maybe just flick a bit of that on there like that. Just give it a bit of texture. I spread it all on my phone, that's good news, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. I think I want to find where the where the rows of veg are and uh, just get some dark in there in between them. And now I just want to establish where some of the lighter areas are. Nice big brush, you see? It's not... It comes down there and there. You don't want to get... You don't want to get... 
to be fussing about with little brushes now and try to suggest leaves and that kind of thing. It's far too early for that, if you ever get to that point, which uh, you may not. But now we're establishing the, the uh, perspective and some of the tonal values as well. There's some really nice lights in there. You can see now how, how swiftly this is established. It's a really quick process to get to this stage. What's it taken? I don't know, uh, five minutes, probably less. So now I'm going to introduce a little bit of sunlight into the painting and in order to do that I've got to make, I've got to bring some dark into it. Uh, in other words, shadow. You can't have sunlight without having some shadow. I've often seen students try to make a painting light and sunny simply by adding more and more light and it just doesn't work. You need, you need the dark to make the sunshine. So I'm going to think about some shapes of leaves perhaps in here and just so I'm painting the negative spaces in here and uh, just just allow that to suggest some leaves as we go along. You don't have to paint them all you know it's just a suggestion of what's going on. <laughs> the light shining through them from the back and they're going to be very sharply bright so I'm just going to start to add in some some light into there now so that contrasts beautifully with the shadow we've just put in and now we've got some reason for the shadow that we've applied a little bit of, little bit of sharpness to these leaves too they're a different a much cooler limier green here, so, um, Use a little bit of I've used a little bit of Prussian blue with lemon yellow. Be really careful not to get these leaves too uniform as it looks false. Both in size and um, and distribution. Well, there's a quite a strong post goes in here and it's not a million miles away from the colour of the soil so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put that in. Once again I don't I don't want to make it too obvious, otherwise it'll it'll draw the eye too too readily and be a dominant feature. I don't want that. on this, this colour, it's a little bit too harsh, I'm going to get rid of some of that. So I'm using this Prussian blue again, similar to the one that I put on earlier here. It's just a little bit, little bits of light. do just finally here is um, add a little bit of light to the sky because that's going to make sense of uh, the tonal values that we're putting in here and uh, they need developing at the same time.
Now there is of course loads and loads more I could do to this and take it to a completed painting but I did say I was just going to start it. I've gone a little bit further than I'd expected but uh, once I start painting I can't stop. I hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget to click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really helps if you do that. Uh, it's free of course. If you click the little bell icon that'll let you know when I upload new videos. And hopefully I'll start to upload a few more videos. I haven't done that for quite a while. Hope you've enjoyed it. Goodbye.